Hello. Good morning. My name is JC, and um, I went with the senior high camp to Camp Zephyr. There are many things about camp that I love. One of my favorites is the staff at Camp Zephyr. They make it so much fun. They're very hyper and love to have fun, but at the same time learn about God. They always come up and greet you with a high five, and they're very upbeat and make you feel at home. They ask us how we're doing and what's going on in our lives and everything. They make you feel more than welcome to be there. The worship times are very touching, and the lessons really get you to think about your life and what's really important. You just can't help but be moved when you're there. I also love youth group time, where we get together with our youth groups and talk about the lessons and what parts really reached out to us, or if we have any questions about what we've learned, or if you feel that God has put something on your heart to share with somebody, to lift them up in any way, or to just get it off your chest and to be comforted and lifted up by others. It's the best time to do so. I just can't help but feel closer to my friends when we leave. Good afternoon. My name is Alexa Limon. Well, first of all, I just want to say that God works in mysterious ways. My family and I have always made God a top priority in our lives. And as long as I could remember, God and church had always been a great part of my life. However, we were looking for a new church, a place where we can grow, and thank God, because this church exceeds all expectations. We started coming here on my 17th birthday, June 3rd, after we were invited by my mom's friend, Mr. Albert Garcia, who was a friend of my mom's since he would show movies where she works as a teacher at the Juvenile Detention Center. Shortly after attending, attending services here and absolutely falling in love with every aspect of this church, I decided I wanted to go to youth camp, Camp Zephyr. Honestly, I was so apprehensive about going to a sleepaway camp with people whom I hadn't even met. And I, but I knew in my heart that I wanted to grow more in Christ, and I felt that this was an opportunity of a lifetime, and that in itself was an understatement. There are no words to express how amazing my experience at Camp Zephyr was. I was not only surprised, but overjoyed that I was welcomed so quickly into a youth group. Everyone was so kind, and thank God for amazing leaders like Ryan and Liz. At Camp Zephyr, I rededicated my life to Christ. The teachings were so amazing and opened up, opened, um, up so many new ideas and concepts of my life that I could use in everyday life. I learned to desire scriptures much more and, and to intercede for other people. In conclusion, I just wanted to thank the church for welcoming my family and I, and just I thank God I was given the opportunity to have so many amazing memories from Camp Zephyr. Thank you. afternoon, sorry. In all honesty, I didn't want to go to Camp Zephyr. I figured, great, another year, another camp, but nothing's changed in my life. Why? My junior year in high school had just ended, my parties had changed, and I had my own plans for summer, none of which included going to a Christian camp. Little did I know I was trying to argue with the plans of an almighty God. I ended up going anyway, not really feeling like I knew anybody, but knowing them still. God had his own plans for me, and I would soon find out. On the third day of camp during worship, we sang a song by Praise Hill that many of you probably know. The words, uh, I sang the words that, I sang the words of the song, it's for real this time and there's no turning back. I asked myself, how many times have I said those words but still turned back? Then I heard a voice inside of me say, fall on your knees. My pride spoke up, fall on my knees? Not in front of all these people, not happening. Twice I heard that voice, fall on your knees. Finally, I surrendered. For the first time in a long time, I felt peace. I thought I was surrounded, even though I was surrounded by people, I felt like it was just me and a loving God, who had his only son stand with open arms on a cross for us, welcoming us home. Don't let your, don't let your past define your future. Like one of the speakers at Zephyr said, how can you walk forward if you're looking behind at your shadow? I'm so glad I went to Zephyr, where God placed these, these three beautiful ladies in my path to support my walk in God. I start my senior year in high school tomorrow. To be honest, I'm a little nervous, not only because I'm gonna be facing part of my past, but because I'm gonna be facing my friends. Thank you so much for the support and prayers you have for our youth group. It is, more, it is very appreciated. And when God calls, I hope you're ready to fall on your knees and listen. Thank you.